Congratulations! You are now a contestant on our show. Change it if you can! Welcome to the show, Change It If You Can! On this extremely popular show, we give old clothes a new chance at life. Today, we have two contestants who will be giving makeovers. Meet the first. This is Cindy. We found her while she was using her new invention. It was a sweater with a flashlight and a bottle opener. Sew a strip of faux leather to the inside seam of a sweater at the bottom. Attach the other end of the strip with a snap fastener. Make fasteners on both sides. Hang a flashlight on it and a bottle opener using lobster clasps. Cindy, we heard that you made a stuffed unicorn out of an old fur coat. Is that true? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I did it. My secret is the more glitter, the better. And let's continue. Here is contestant number two, Violette, welcome. We found Violette on the street by accident. Her giant bag attracted our attention right away. It was made out of hula hoops. Cut big handbag pieces out of thick cardboard. Trace them on fabric. Cut them out with some extra around the edges. Wrap the cardboard pieces with the fabric. Cover the backs of the pieces with paper. Use two black hula hoops as a frame. Glue the bag pieces to them. Add the handbag flap. Glue in a magnetic fastener. Whoa! Now that's what I call oversize! Violette, tell us how you came up with this handbag idea. One time, I was coming home from my gymnastics class and I didn't have anything to put my hula hoops in. So I decided that I would do the opposite. I put the bag into the hoops instead of putting the hoops into the bag. That's a brilliant idea! We can't wait to have you on Change It If You Can! Our contestants are already becoming friends. Let's begin! Come on! Time for the first round! The contestants have to pick out something from this pile of old stuff. And they have to change it into something that can be worn on the legs. And begin! Cindy takes out an old sweater. How will she transform it? And Violette takes out a very intimate item, a bra. The task of the first round is to create leg wear. It looks like our contestants already have some ideas about how to use these items. Cut the sleeves off an old sweater. Glue the cut off edge inside. Attach a wide elastic ribbon into the wide part. And Violette will create something useful. Cut an old bra. Hot glue a wide elastic ribbon to the cup. Cut it in half and glue pieces of Velcro to the ends. Remove the bow and the lace. Nice knee-high socks are done! And what did my competitor do? Whoa! These are knee pads made out of a bra! It's so simple, but so smart! But my knee pads aren't just an accessory, they are also useful! They will protect my precious knees! The judges are considering the first results. Not bad! No one expected this plot twist! We'll sneak into the contestants' rooms and take away their favorite things! We found sneakers in Violette's room. And dust in Cindy's. But that won't stop us. Well, what should we take? And here is something we can use on the bed. We are taking the throw blanket. So in this round, our contestants have to give their own things a makeover. 
using my supplies, hot glue and scissors. Your time starts now. Draw a template of sneaker soles with Rick and Morty. Place parchment paper on top. Coat it with Vaseline and copy the drawing with colored hot glue. Trace the outlines with a black fine liner. Color the faces with acrylic paints. Take the piece off the parchment paper. Glue it to the sneaker sole. Coat the background with glitter hot glue. My competitor has already started working. I also need to come up with something to change my blanket. A few quick snips with scissors. And I have sleeves. Now let's pick out a matching accessory. Voila! My throw blanket turned into a luxurious cardigan. And Violette has the funniest sneaker soles ever. This is awesome! Too bad you'll have to walk in these shoes. We wonder who will be the winner of this round. The next round! The contestants have to make a purse. You can choose anything from the workshop and turn it into a purse. Your time starts now. What a catch! A shopping bag and a sneaker? Or an umbrella? Cindy knows how to transform her umbrella. Cut an old plastic folder into parts. Also cut out a pocket. Fold the remaining strip in half and cut it. Attach double-sided tape to the three edges of the whole folder piece. And attach it to the umbrella as a pocket. Attach a plastic strip as a flap on top. Also add a little pocket. Cindy proudly presents an umbrella with pockets. Nothing can disturb you while it's raining. All my things are right here. They are hidden in these waterproof pockets. And Violette can't figure out how she could possibly get these two completely different items. She'll have to work with what she has. Coat the sole of the sneaker with fabric paint and make an imprint on a fabric shopping bag. Paint a frame. Cut off the bottom and hot glue the sneaker instead. Decorate the seam with a thin leather strip. Add a title using fabric paint. Whoa, not bad. But my creation is just as good. This is a bag with a sole for the best shopping sprees ever. You can just put the shopping bag on the floor and it won't get dirty. Bravo, girls! Both of your bags are super practical. What a great result! The next round has a surprise. What's inside? You have to create an organizer for little things out of these objects. Cindy has mittens. Cut parts for pockets out of felt. Sew the pockets to the mittens. Glue an elastic string to the flap as a loop. Cover the glue with a felt circle. Attach a little pom-pom to the pocket as a button. And Violette has invisible clothes. How interesting! Oh, sorry. Our host was daydreaming. And here's your object, a leather glove. Make shortcuts along the seams. And sew a clutch bag clasp to the edge. Add a chain as a handle. The contestants are ready to present their best ideas for storing small essentials. 
mittens with pockets and a glove clutch bag. Which one can hold more things and which organizer looks more elegant? The host will decide. The contestants are figuring out who's the best again, but only the strongest one will win. The last round, I'm giving you my most precious thing. This is my favorite sweater. It's covered in my tears. Girls, fix this poor ruined sweater. We don't have a choice. We'll have to work together. I wonder what our contestants can create together. Gather a strip of tool in the middle and sew it to a ruined sweater to cover the stains. There you go, done! We covered the stain with a layer of soft tulle. Now this sweater looks brand new. Good job, girls! And now it's time to announce the winner. You both did a great job and transformed a lot of things. But today, the winner of our show, change it if you can, is... Cindy! Yay! And she gets a gift. It's her unusual remade sweater. What an unexpected present. Dear viewers, stay tuned. In the next episode, we'll be giving away a cash prize. Did you like our life hacks with old clothes? Then comment below what clothing item you would make over. Will you make a purse out of a glove, an umbrella with pockets, or knee pads out of a bra? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new useful life hacks from Troom Troom.